Lord, you give the great commission, heal the sick and preach the word. Lest the church neglect its mission and the gospel go unheard. Help us witness to your purpose with renewed integrity. With the Spirit's gifts empower us for the work of ministry. Lord, you bless with words assuring, I am with you to the end. Faith and hope and love restoring, may we serve you as intend. And amid the cares that claims us, Hold in mind eternity with the Spirit's gifts empower us for the work of ministry. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Today we are celebrating the feast of St. Mark the Evangelist. Evangelist is one who evangelizes, which means shares the good news. And as we'll hear in the readings today that we are all called to be evangelists. We're all called to share the good news. Now to prepare our hearts to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us begin by asking forgiveness for our sinfulness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us today, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Mark, your evangelist, and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, grant, we pray, that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ. He who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another, for God opposes the proud, but bestows favor on the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. 
Cast all your worries upon him because he cares for you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write you this briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One at Babylon sends you greeting, as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever Ever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can rank with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the sons of God? Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Bless the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We proclaim Christ crucified. He is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his place at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Before I came to All Souls Parish here in Sanford, I was pastor for 14 years of St. Mark the Evangelist Parish in Kenosha, Wisconsin. 
And during that time of St. Mark, I was immersed in learning about St. Mark. I was working all over the place trying to find out how did he preach the gospel? How did he share? How did he evangelize? Because that was the whole method in our parish that we needed to do was to evangelize, was to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. But the reading we had today is one of the three endings to the gospel of Mark. Apparently they were, they were added on as the, the Gospels were being written. And the first one was much shorter, and then he had a little longer one, and then he had this third one, which is a little longer yet. And this one here was kind of reflecting what was going on in the early church. It said they went out to the whole world. Well, the world that they knew, of course. They didn't go out to India, although Thomas went to India, you know that. Thomas the Apostle. He founded many churches down there. A whole lot of other ones went around the Middle East. Others went west into Europe. But Mark, so in the Gospel of Mark, it was being written, they wrote down what happened when they preached the word. And what happened to them is supposed to happen to us today. Which meant that when they preached the word, people's lives were changed. That's what all these sayings there about healing and all of that. It's talking about the lives that were changed by people once they came to understand the gospel, once they came to know Jesus, once they came to love Jesus, and once they came to see that Jesus had to be the center of their lives, that everything was different. They would have, the way they would approach everything, the way they'd approach sickness, it wasn't that they ran away from it or said, oh, magical kind of words, no, 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 that's not what it was. What it was was their faith was evidenced in their lives. They were people of great prayer. That's where the part about the different languages were. That they would express their love for Jesus in all kinds of languages. And they would share these languages and gifts that were given to them by God. And so part of the thing about evangelizing is we have to be empowered to do it. He wants to give us the gifts that each and every one of us needs in order to share the gospel. The greatest gift, of course, as we all know, is love. And that's the one we have to show to everybody. That if we start saying, I love only this kind of person, or I like that kind of person, or I don't like the way this person looks, or the way this one talks, as soon as we stop loving like that, we cannot share Jesus, because Jesus loves everybody. So the great gift he has to pour into our hearts, first of all, is the gift of love. That love that it empowers us to share the good news with other people. That say, I want you to have this thing which is really good, this thing that's center of my life. The reason I live is Jesus. And this relationship I have with Jesus, who's the Son of God, that this relationship is something which comes out, sort of oozes out of every pore in our body. A kind of a love that nobody can take away from us. A love that nobody can talk us out of. It's a love of which they, I will lay down my life for anybody else in the world. And that's the way the gospel was spread down through the centuries. It was spread through the love of people that wanted to bring Jesus into other persons' lives. So today we ask St. Mark to do that. We ask St. Mark to pray for us, to intercede for us before the throne of, of the Father, together with Jesus, that they would be praying for us in our lives, that we can be an evangelizer. But of course, to do that, we need, first of all, to ask for the gifts. So I think that's basically the thing we have to ask for today. Is, Lord, give me the gift I most need to share you with others. For some of us, it's going to be a gift of preaching. It's going to be the gift of saying just the right word to somebody else. It's also like a gift of counsel. When somebody else is going stir-crazy these days, to have just the right word to say to them. I'll say, where'd you get that from? And say, well, I don't know where I got it from. All I know is that I think the Lord wants you to hear that. 
but Jesus loves me. Jesus loves you. And that's the way the thing grows. Some of us have a gift of teaching. We'll say the right words. And I pray for that gift for all of you parents who are helping teach your kids these days. That's hard. But you do it because you love them. I don't know if I'd be able to teach sixth grade math to anybody in the world anymore. But we still have to help them get it. And then once they see you laying down your life for them, then they say, why do you do that, Mom and Dad? It's because I love you. And I love you with that same kind of love that Jesus had. So we are sent to go out to the whole world. We're sent to start in our families. We're sent there to the people we work with, the people we go to school with, the people we meet with, that we show them God's love. And when they see that, they say, where do you get that from? We say, I get that from Jesus, who loves me so much he died on the cross for me, who loves me so much that he gives me a life to share and a life to share with you, my brothers and sisters. St. Mark, pray for us. St. Mark, help us be evangelizers. St. Mark, help us get those gifts we most need to share Jesus with others. Amen. Oh God, our Father, as we come before you today, we pray first of all for the church, that the church might really be an evangelistic outreach. As Pope Paul, John, as Pope Paul VI once said, the church exists to evangelize. Help us, Lord, as your church to evangelize, to spread the good news through the whole world. We pray to the Lord. For all of those who govern nations, who work within nations, who work all over the world. Lord, give them the wisdom to help guide all of their people through the virus. We pray to the Lord. For those who are sick, especially those who are suffering, the, suffering from the effects of COVID-19, we pray to the Lord. And for those who have died, we ask, Lord, that you bring them into eternal happiness. We pray to the Lord. And the intention for today's Mass is the Venezuelan Day. We have many Venezuelans that are members of our parish. Lord, we ask that you bless them on their day in a special way, that they might come to recognize how much you love them as a people. We pray to the Lord. O God, our Father, we ask all these needs in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives with you in the Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. For the mystery of this water and wine will we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself and shared with us our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquities. Cleanse me of all of my sins.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we venerate the glory of St. Mark, we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise and humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in the preaching of the gospel. This we ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now, and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your ch church throughout the world, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. No sure sign of that peace with the people around you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We're still not able to receive communion from a television set or an iPad or even a telephone. But we can enter into communion with Jesus in a spiritual way. And this is the spiritual communion prayer composed by St. Alphonsus Liguri. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, 
that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Mark proclaimed. This we ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. And as our final prayer, we ask Mary to help us today and every day of our life, singing Regina Chaley. A prayer to Queen of Heaven, the mother of the resurrected Jesus. Regina Chaley, late re, hallelujah. Quia que meruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit secut dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.